Hello everyone and welcome to Azam Sharp Weekly. In this small video, I'm going to show you some of the other changes that actually happened in Xcode 11 Beta 4. I'm using a presentation over here because I want to create and show a model in a presentation. But you'll see that there are some deprecation warnings over here saying that the model is deprecated. Use view.sheet instead and also presentation is deprecated and use a view.sheet instead. So how can we write the same code, but which does work in Xcode 11 beta 4? So let's go ahead and first of all, we're gonna go ahead and comment out all of this code. And instead of using presentation, I'm gonna use something new, which is called a sheet. The first argument, as you can see, is is presented, which is a bindable property of type Boolean. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this. I already have this property right over here defined as a state property on line number 12 or 13 over here. So I can actually pass this property. So I can say show modal. And the second argument is the actual body that you want to display. So in this case, we were displaying the flag detail view. We can use the same exact thing. So we can say over here either a text view. So let's see if it actually even compiles if I go ahead and write a text view and go ahead and build it, and you can see it works fine. So now I can replace this with my own custom view that I have already built, which in this case is a flag detail view, and I can pass in a selected flag, which I can get it from self.selected flag. Show model, we already have that property self.show modal, and the name of the country, which in this case can be self dollar sign country. Great. Let's go ahead and build that. So this is great and it's done. So you can see that in presentation, the one that we were using earlier before Xcode uh, 11 beta 4, we had to do all of this calculation ourselves using the shorthand syntax for if else checks. Now we don't have to, we can simply use is presented. And if I go ahead and run the application, you'll see that it runs perfectly fine and works as expected. So let me go ahead and jump into the live view. And once the live view is loaded, we can actually see the app. So if I click on certain flag, it actually shows a model. I can even type in the name of the country right over here, which actually is great because this was also not working uh, in the previous version of Xcode 11 uh, beta versions. You cannot really type in the text box when you are using the live view. And I had to run the simulator every single time if I wanted to type in something in the text box. So this is great that this is working fine. I can click the submit button and you can see right on the top that the name is actually passed from the model back to uh, the list. So I can go ahead and click a different country and I can go ahead and fill this field out with USA and submit. And you can see now the USA is selected. This, all, all, all of this will be covered in my Udemy course. I'm actually recreating these videos that I've already done for my Udemy course. So I'm recreating it with now uh, all of this information, the sheet and all this changes. I have to recreate all of that videos, but it hopefully will be available by the end of this week now. Um, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much. Then check out my Udemy course, so if you want declarative interfaces for any Apple device. Now this is a six hour on demand video and it covers a lot of different things as you can see about Surf UI. Not only about Surf UI, but also about how you can use MVVM design pattern to create your next Surf UI applications. It goes into more details also about forms and property wrappers and gestures and custom views integrating with the UI kit apps and Xcode previews and much, much, much more. I'm still working on some new sections about models and how the models can communicate with the parent and they will be available very, very shortly. Now, the real price of this course is much higher, but you can get it for a very good discount if you just click on the link in the description. Now, the link is already there in the YouTube video description along with some other courses if you're interested. So simply click on that link, which will take you to the Surf UI, and you will get this course for just $9.99, $9.99. That's the best deal. I really request you to use the coupon, the links that I have provided you 
in the description because if you use those coupons, to be really honest with you, I get to keep more higher revenue, which is 90%, so 90% of $9. Or if you don't use those coupons, then I only get 10% of $9.99. So thank you so much for supporting me. And if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to ask me. And thank you so much.